여러분 안녕하세요. 기스님 안녕하십니까? I'm, uh, my name is Dr. Ondimadi Okikolua. I'm from Nigeria. Also, I have a colleague here, even though he's not wearing his native clothes, Gambo Abdullahi from Nigeria. So today we'll be presenting uh, Nigeria to the world and to all my colleagues. And as we all know that Nigeria is from Africa and the largest country in Africa. Uh, it comprises of, uh, this is the map of Nigeria, and there are so many features about Nigeria. And I want to start with a video so that it will give you a preview of what Nigeria is all about. Welcome to Nigeria, a fascinating country. Take a trip to one of the most beautiful places on the earth. A gem of discovery. A unique opportunity to get in touch with unspoiled nature. Enjoy your time in a place that offers something for everyone. A land of beautiful contrast. An experience you won't forget. I'm trying to skip it so that we will not take much of your time because all these things we are still going to talk in the, in the other slides that uh, is remaining for me to present. Nigeria is a wonderful country and I will enjoy you to visit Nigeria soon. All right, I think we can, we can move to the next slide. All right, uh, Nigeria is uh, formerly known as uh, the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Uh, it's located on the west coast of Africa. Uh, it's bordered by, um, bordered by Niger, Chad, Cameroon, uh, Benin Republic. Those are the countries that surround Nigeria. All right. Uh, the land, uh, Nigeria got independent in October 1960. Uh, we did, that's the landmass uh, of Nigeria. And uh, so many things, the heritage and all that things. But the population, as at July 2023, Nigeria is uh, 223 million. And it's uh, fast growing, it's the sixth in the world. And uh, I was telling my colleague this morning that uh, if Pakistan is not very careful, uh, we will actually beat them. They are in the fifth uh, position. Uh, Nigeria has 36 states and the federal capital territory. The federal capital territory is the capital of Nigeria. We call it Abuja. And uh, the, Nigeria is also divided into six geopolitical zones. Uh, these, these six geopolitical zones it's just like uh, carving out uh, Nigeria into six because of the cultural and uh, ethnic uh, groups so that we, everybody will be captured appropriately. Uh, Lagos, as we all know, is the largest city in, uh, largest city in Nigeria and is second uh, largest in Africa. Okay, these are the symbols and the national flag and the coat of arms. Uh, as you can see here, the eagle is the symbol of uh, strength. Uh, why the, you can see this white uh, looks like white, but uh, is where two major rivers in Nigeria, they met, and they met at Lokoja. Uh, the horses uh, are for dignity uh, of, the, of the nation. And why the black and the green represent the fatal line of Nigeria. Uh, the coat of arm, uh, the national flag is green, white, green. And uh, I, hope, uh, I hope all of us know that uh, the, the flag is, is everywhere in the world. So going next, 
Nigeria's history, uh, there are so many things uh, about Nigeria We're right from uh, like 13,000 BC. So many uh, histories, so many informations about the history of Nigeria. Recently, uh, there, was, uh, there was a digging. Uh, actually, there was a remote area that they were trying to dig in Nigeria, and they discovered a kino. And when they took it to the, they took it, they actually flew the, because of the specialty of the Keno, they had to flew the Keno outside, uh, out of Nigeria to do some experiment on it. And they discovered that even this 13,000 BC they are talking about, Nigeria is way, way uh, uh, beyond that. So Nigeria is a, is, has a very long history. Though I have a video, but it is a very long video, I will not want to play it. Okay, the ethnic group in Nigeria. Uh, Nigeria is a wonderful country and a very big country. It is surprising that Nigeria has over 371 ethnic groups. This is not rightly captured because uh, uh, the general census, it has been long that they carry out the general census. These are the, these are the, uh, all the most of the ethnic groups uh, like uh, this, I'm from the Jebus. Uh, they are, they are, they, they settle in the southwest of Nigeria. But the major uh, and the popular ethnic groups in Nigeria that we categorize ourselves to is the Awusa, Yoruba, Igbo. So uh, I know that uh, most of us know Lekon and myself. We are from the Yoruba tribe of Nigeria. Why Ernest, my brother is from the Igbo side, why Gambo is from the Hausa. But if we go further into the Igbo side, we will discover that uh, Ernest will be talking about is from Calabar and other things. Why uh, I also, I'm not actually from the same place with uh, Lekon and also uh, Gambo. So uh, Nigeria is really diverse. So we talk about Niger uh, the religion. Uh, in, in Nigeria, the, the most uh, religion in Nigeria is uh, the Muslim. And uh, my brother knows the reason why this is this is, is. Though we are actually, the Christians are actually competing with them, but uh, we know our Northern people, they are, they are very good. Uh, other religions are, are the, we call it traditional. We grow subgroup them to traditional, and they represent 0.6 percent of the whole population of Nigeria. So this is the the pie chart of the of the religion. Going further, I will talk about language. Uh, Nigeria, as I told you, Nigeria has uh, 371 uh, ethnic groups, but even inside the ethnic groups, you will discover that inside one ethnic group, they might be saying different languages. So Nigeria have about 525 20, native languages. Uh, but the official language, as we are being colonized, is English. But the major languages, national language is uh, uh, the Yoruba language, the Hausa language, the, the Igbo language. Uh, but to, to actually, you, uh, to unify the country, we, there, was, there was a time that uh, there was a language that most of the Nigerians is, uh, use instead of English, and we call it Pidgin. And uh, my, my West African countries can also bear with me that, that even this language has moved beyond Nigeria and is being spoken in other West, uh, West African countries. Okay, uh, about governance, uh, Nigeria uh, got uh, started the democratic uh, rule from 1999. So as we can see, uh, this is our first president. This is the second uh, president, why Dr. Goodluck, Ebele Jonathan was the third president, followed by Mohamed uh, Buhari. Uh, our current president is uh, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. He took over just May 2023, and is the one ruling Nigeria now. 
Okay. Uh, as regards economy, as, as you can see in the slide, you will see uh, Nigeria is largest in Africa, as we all know. But uh, you will discover that so many, so many, uh, so many uh, economies are being done in Nigeria. The oil, the manufacturing, the cost construction, and other things. But uh, you will discover that uh, Nigeria has so many potentials, so many potentials, and this calls for an opportunity for investment. This call for an opportunity for diverse uh, partnership with Nigeria. So in, in case you have any partnership with, uh, with from your country that you wish to do in Africa, Nigeria can be your first stop so that you can really enjoy the collaboration and partnership. So about currency, uh, these are the, there are so many currencies in Nigeria, but these are the ones that are being currently used. Uh, as you can see, we have the, uh, the 5 Naira, the 10 Naira, 20 Naira, 50, 100, the 200, 500, and 800. Uh, this year, this, uh, this 200, 500, and 1,000 was changed uh, by the Central Bank of Nigeria. Uh, as you can see on the slide, uh, the currency was launched by our first, uh, the first minister of uh, Finance, Shehu Shagari, and uh, the current exchange uh, price of uh, Naira to dollar is uh, 780, while to Korean one is 1.61. So in case you want to change, you have a friend in Nigeria, you want to send money to the person, you, this is the exchange rate. Uh, these are the national holidays in Nigeria. Uh, we have the, the 1st January, Good Friday, so many holidays, uh, the Children's Day, the, the, this is our, demo, this 12th June is our Democracy Day, uh, while this uh, 1st October is the, uh, our Independence Day. So we'll talk about the weather in Nigeria. Uh, the major, uh, Nigeria is actually, the seasons is actually divided into the wet and dry. Like uh, compared to Korea, which has uh, like four seasons, the winter, the, uh, the fall, the, uh, the spring, the summer, Nigeria only have uh, the wet and dry seasons. And uh, majorly the wet seasons is uh, the one that covers the agricultural, activities of Nigeria. So little agricultural activities is being done in the dry seasons. Uh, these are the, the parameters, the, the rainfall parameters and the, um, in Nigeria. All right. So this is where I will actually dwell. Like I was saying earlier when I was starting, this is what my brother is supposed to wear this morning. <laughs> But I don't know why he changed his mind. This, that is Gambo. Uh, I just want to show you. These are my daughters. This is my first daughter. This is my second. This is Deborah, uh, president. This is my Deborah. This is my mother-in-law. Uh, these, uh, these are the, uh, some of the cultural and fashion of Nigeria, as you can see. These are from the Yoruba, these are from the Yoruba, this is from the Hausa, this is Hausa. You can see our brothers here, Lekon and Ernest. Uh, these are from the Igbo side, this is from the Igbo side, this is also from the Igbo side. You can see me and, the, and our ambassador. So Nigeria is actually diverse and we have so many, uh, so many culture, so many uh, traditional attires. Uh, these are just little that we can show. All right. I actually, I'm, I'm actually happy about this uh, area because he's talking about food, and I'm ready to 
<laughs> have a competition with one of our brothers here. We start actually talking about the Nigerian uh, jollof rice. These are a few of the, the foods in Nigeria. There are so many foods that you can, you can take in Nigeria that uh, is very nutritious. So I will just go to the next slide so that we can actually see a video of... Uh... Top 10 Nigerian food. Number one, jollof rice. This is one of the most popular food in Nigeria and it is eaten in every part of the country. You might wonder why is jollof rice so overrated? It will shock you to know that this rice is just a simple rice prepared with tomato, onion, pepper and some spices. It can be sometimes served with vegetable, beef, chicken and fried fish. Jollof rice is not only popular in Nigeria but in some West African countries, such as Ghana. But Nigeria does it better. Number two, pounded yam. This is a very soft food served in several homes and restaurants. It can be enjoyed with variety of soup, such as egusi vegetable, afan soup, okra soup, ogbono, and many more. If you're ever in Africa or Nigeria, Ask for pounded yam, you will surely not regret it. Number 3. Beans and plantain. If you visited Nigeria and you did not taste this food, your trip was incomplete. Beans and plantain is a combination made as porridge and richly garnished with fish and other ingredients. Beans and plantain is a very special Nigerian delicacy that I believe you will love to taste. Number 4. Amala and Ewedu Amala is made from yam. In other cases, yam peel. Ewedu is a delicious soup mostly associated with Yoruba people of the western part of Nigeria. It is however very popular delicacy in the country. Ewedu soup is usually garnished with meat, pomo, cow skin and is best served with amala. Number 5. Unkwabi this is a very common soup among the Igbos of Eastern Nigeria. Nkobi is prepared from cow leg and head. It is a traditional dessert. Nkobi is prepared with palm oil and leaves and the meats. You surely want to have a taste of it. It is an irresistible taste. Number 6. Pepper Soup This is a very common delicacy in almost every part of the country. It usually contains plethora of beef, chicken, fresh fish. You can find pepper soup mostly in bars accompanied with beer. It is a very healthy soup due to its natural spices. It is very delicious and it comes with a nice aroma. Number 7. Abacha and Uba. This is another common food mostly from the eastern part of Nigeria. It is also called African Salad. Abacha is prepared from cassava. This delicacy is made with bean oil and some fresh vegetables and mostly served with fresh fish and cow skin. Number 8. Pap and Akara This is another popular Nigerian delicacy. It is called Kosei in the northern part of the country. It is simply bean cake deep fried in palm oil or granite oil. Pap is made from fermented corn. These two combinations are mostly served as breakfast in Nigeria. Number 9. Moi Moi One of the really good food that you can eat in Nigeria that will blow your taste board is Moi Moi. It is a very delicious dish that has earned its popularity from its unique taste. Like Akara is made from a processed beans but the difference is Akara is fried processed beans while Moi Moi is boiled processed beans. Number 10. Ewa Agoy. This is a very delicious food that is very popular among the Yoruba people of the western part of Nigeria. It originated from Benin. Ewa Agoy is cooked with mashed beans and is eaten with pepper sauce. This sauce is not just from pepper. It involves onion, tomato, crayfish. So going ahead. Uh... We, Nigeria has a very uh, strong entertainment industries. 
and my brothers can bear me witness uh, Nigerian film industry has been been up uh, lately and uh, we call it Nollywood uh, following the American Hollywood and, and the Bollywood Nigeria actually coined the, the, uh, the name Nollywood and uh, as at 2022 the 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 uh, the industry is valued at 6.4 billion. These are some of our stars. I know some of us might know. I know them. Uh, the music industry is also booming, as you can see. Uh, the likes of Davido, the reigning, the reigning young boy. We who sang uh, "Calm Down." And the the popular movie uh, music maker John Jazzy. Uh, this is one of our, these uh, three uh, music uh, musicians got their Grammy Award like uh, two years ago. Okay, about sports. I guess most of us watched uh, the Nigeria match yesterday when we beat uh, Australia uh, to three two. Uh, these are some of uh, the sports in Nigeria. We talk about the basketball, we talk about the, the football, mm -hmm. we talk about the uh, odus, the athletic, we also talk about the boxing. Uh, this is uh, Anthony Joshua. Uh, okay, uh, this is about tourism and I will be taking us through another video which Top 10 places to visit in Nigeria. Nigeria is not popularly called the giant of Africa for nothing. It's a country that houses some of the best tourist attractions in Africa. When it also comes to enjoying recreational activities like sightseeing, hill climbing, mountaineering, art exhibitions and other fun activities, Nigeria has more than enough to keep you informed and entertained. Nigeria has 36 states with its federal capital territory being Abuja. Many of the states in Nigeria are blessed with great natural resources and tourist attractions that will show you how fruitful and beautiful the country can truly be. So, if you intend to visit anywhere in Nigeria soon and you're looking for places to have a memorable experience, we've helped you to compile 10 best places to visit in Nigeria. The various places on our list are major tourist destinations that you wouldn't want to miss. And you'll be surprised to know the major tourist attractions in Nigeria that's occupying the number one spot in our list. So make sure you watch this video until the end. But before we get right into the countdown, be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to this channel and turn on your post notifications so that you don't get to miss any of our awesome videos. Now, let's get started. Idunra Hill, Ondo State. If you're the type who loves to explore gigantic mountains and hills, then you should consider visiting Idunra Hill in Ondo State. Apart from the fact that Ondo State has many hills and rocky mountains, the Idunra Hill stands out from the rest because of its remarkable height. You'll have to climb its 682 steps before getting to the top of the hill, which allows you to have a full view of the city, its greenery and amazing landscape. No wonder it was named a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This is definitely a place in Nigeria that you surely don't want to miss. Nike Art Gallery, Lekki, Lagos State. Nothing speaks more about art exhibition than the famous Nike Art Gallery in Lagos, Nigeria. This radiant five-story building houses some of the best arts and crafts ranging from stone sculptures, tie and dye, to colorful drawings among others. Since its establishment in 2009, Nike Art Gallery has more than 20,000 artworks from different Nigerian artists and has continued to be a major tourist attraction for art lovers. And the most interesting thing about visiting this art gallery is that there is no entry fee, 
So, you're always welcome to explore the beautiful artworks that Nigeria has to offer. Old Oyo National Park, Oyo State One of the major features of the Old Oyo National Park is the preservation of the culture, archaeology and history of the Old Oyo Empire while merging it with wildlife. It was also established to protect endangered species from going into extinction. People from different parts of Nigeria and across the world usually visit the Old Oyo National Park to appreciate and enjoy the spiritual, ecological and aesthetic values of nature in order to enhance the growth of wildlife. Lekki Conservation Center, Lekki, Lagos State After exploring the beautiful arts and crafts at Nike Art Gallery, you can also visit the Lekki Conservation Center. This conservation center is known as the icon of conservation in Nigeria. It doubles as a recreational and conservation center for those who love to unwind while catching a glimpse of wildlife. It is also a great gateway for Lagosians to escape from the hectic nature of city life. Lekki Conservation Center covers an area of about 78 hectares and reportedly has the longest canopy walkaway in Africa. It's also home to many endangered species. So, if you love animals, especially wildlife, you should consider visiting this beautiful conservation center in Lekki. Arachuku Waterfall, a bee estate. The amazing Arachuku Waterfall is a major tourist destination and leisure spot for relaxation. Apart from the magnificent waterfall, Arachuku is surrounded by beautiful flora, tall trees, sloppy ground and a lot of greenery. The waterfall also has a tiny step which is popularly called the Arachuku 79 steps. It connects the waterfall to the riverside and it's usually climbed by tourists who swim underneath the waterfall. One historical fact about the Arachuku waterfall is that it was erected by the colonial masters for various purposes. But since the colonialists left, the waterfall was unknown until 2013 when it was discovered by some youth corps members and became a major tourist attraction in a beer state. Now that we're halfway through the video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you're yet to do so. Can you do that now? It's free. Are you done? Great, now let's get right back into the rest of the video. Yankari National Park, Bauchi State. This park is arguably one of the most famous tourist destinations in northern Nigeria. With over 20,000 visitors annually, the Ankari National Park is a major place for ecotourism, hiking and other fun activities. There are lodges and tour guides at the park to make your stay a remarkable one. <clears throat> Alright, uh, these are some of our outstanding personalities in Nigeria. So, Alaji Aliko Dangote is the richest black man as of now. And the richest woman uh, in Africa is uh, Dr. 